Can we make water float? It is your science girl, Melissa, and... Oh no, I blew my cover. Quick, editing science girl. What? You need to edit out my secret identity. No. And some particles. You are going to need a glass of water, a mason jar with its ring lid, a bottle or a cup, and index cards. I do have blue food coloring, but it is optional. You might want to be doing this over a sink or outside. Take your bottle or your cup and fill it with water. My water is blue so you can see it easily. Take an index card and simply put it over the top of the jar. I'm going to hold my jar from the bottom and I am going to flip it upside down. Now this is the crazy part. You are going to remove your hand from the card. Ta-da! As you can see, the card is actually sticking to the bottom of the bottle. You're probably asking yourself if there is a camera trick happening right now, but there is not, and I will prove it to you. Woo! There are two things happening in this experiment. The surface tension of the water is keeping the card from slipping off. Air pressure is aiding the card and pressing it against the bottle. Now we are going to do the same thing again, but with our mason jar. Take your mason jar and just make sure you have the ring part of the, uh, the lid. That's all you'll need. And screw it on. Now fill the jar with your water. Take your index card, put it on top, and then do the same thing. Gently press and flip over. It works with the mason jar too. How great is that? Well, watch this. Well, you might be thinking I did a camera trick, but again, I am not deceiving you. Check this out. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's water dropping from the bottom of this jar. Now, if I was uncareful and I tipped the jar, we'll see what happens. Now, I do have to be honest, I did play a little trick for you, but it's in the name of science. So I do have my mason jar and I do have the ring, but I added a little ingredient. That is a screen, the type of screen that you see on your windows. This is what gives the floating water its effect. So there is enough surface tension in between each little hole in that screen where it can, it's actually strong enough to hold the water inside the jar. And of course, this is also accomplished with the air pressure, that 14 pounds per square inch, holding the water inside of the jar. When I tilt the jar, the surface tension is heavier on one side of the jar than the other. So air flows in and then water flows out. That's why we need to keep our jar level. Thank you guys for joining me for Science Girls Home Lab and go be awesome. Bye bye guys.